Oh, hello and welcome back mm -hmm. uh, today to Nine Souls. Uh, the keen observer might see that the death counter has changed since the last episode. There's about, I don't know, what was it? 15, 20 deaths, something like that, uh, added to it. Uh, and no, you did not miss an episode or a stream. I did train Ji uh, Kang a little bit off stream yesterday. So about, what was it? 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. Um, and yeah, a little bit of training. I died, of course, every time. Made it to the second phase, I think, twice. Um, didn't do anything else. Didn't go and explore anything. Didn't do the sequence. Didn't purchase anything. So it's, it's been literally just spawning here, going into the boss, dying, spawning again. Yeah, uh, I did not believe that this is possible yesterday. I believe today. And you know, it's a funny thing with believing stuff. Unfortunately, I'm the kind of person, I barely believe in anything. I believe in things I see. You know, I don't, you know, faith is not for me. <laughs> to, to say it bluntly, I think like, like believing in things that have no base or just uh, where it's like, you have like no hard evidence backing it up even slightly um i find that very hard to do and you know ironically the the thing i uh i find it most difficult to believe in is ironically myself <laughs> myself and my own skills and my own abilities um so yeah given that I understand what kind of player I am and what kind of, kind of skills I have, I absolutely did not believe this is possible. <laughs> uh, so, quick disclaimer, after stream yesterday I watched two different players on, uh, like, um, on YouTube who uploaded their fights against Shikan. Uh, one of them was hitless, the other one wasn't. And, you know, just to gain some inspiration and see how other people do it. And unsurprisingly, they use their talismans. I was absolutely not surprised by that. And honestly, I, th I said it yesterday, or like during yesterday's stream. Looking at the skill tree, I mean, there's so much here that goes towards chi, towards, chi, towards talisman use. Um, it's obvious that the game is telling you, A. Bitch, this is a main thing here. Use it. And I didn't. <laughs> and that's on me. And I hope uh, people were not too frustrated. Uh, but they, uh, I guess people were. And I'm sorry for that. It's absolutely justified um, to not use a major fighting technique that is so prominently featured. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I trained. I trained myself into a little bit into using talismans more. Um, we'll see how efficient I can get. I definitely want to use them more in the future. Given that they are so prominent and they are, you know, such a major feature. And yeah, also what I wanted to say, um, Yesterday, every time I said, I don't believe this is possible, I don't think I can do this, uh, in case someone else <laughs> thought about it too, I had, uh, <laughs> um, I had Master Yoda's voice in my, in my head every single time I said that. I mean, Star Wars, I think, but, but, uh, Empire Strikes Back, I believe. Oh, please don't. People are gonna roast me if I get this wrong now. But if I remember correctly, it's, it's Empire Strikes Back. It has to be, em no, it has to be Empire Strikes Back. Um, you know, where Luke's on Dagobah with Yoda and, you know, can't use the Force and, uh, like, fails to use the Force and then after Yoda shows him how to, and like, it's like, I can't believe this and Yoda tells him this, this is how you, f this is why you fail. So every time yesterday I, I said, I cannot do this, I don't believe this is possible, I had Yoda in my head telling me this is why you fail. Because you don't believe in it. I believe now. I probably won't get it this attempt, or the attempt after, the attempt after that, but eventually, we will. And, we'll, and it will happen today. So, let's go. Hey buddy, what up?
down. Come on. That was okay for our first attempt of the day. Also this, this spear attack. That's still the one I struggle with the most. I feel like he attacks three times and I can... Thanks, Kev. Uh, I can only... I mean, I have, of course, succeeded in dodging all three attacks. But most of the time I only get one and the other two just slay me. Take slightly less damage. I would appreciate. Did I even. Wait a second. Did I use my arrows in that? At all? I think I didn't. Did I? I don't think I did use my arrows. So, yeah. Uh, avoid taking damage a little bit so I can save at least some heals. Yeah, I don't think so either. Oh, by the way, I. Didn't do this. Um. Oh, is the death counter not working? Sorry. There we go. Ah, uh, thank you, Gellert. That's what 20 attempts will do. So yeah, taking a little less damage would be amazing. And that lion's attack. When it steps three times. Ah! Oh. That almost gets me. Oh, I hate when he opens with it. Damn it. 
Okay, that was bad. Combo. You know, sometimes it's a little hard to tell for me when the best time for a talisman use is. when that happens. I hate when he comes out of the stagger and does the lands. Oh, that is so horrible. Yes. Oh! 
opening with it is also rude. Again, rude. Okay, phase two, <laughs> no heals. At least you made it to second to second phase. <laughs> At least we made that. We still have a long way to go. Hey, 
Hey, I blocked that. Okay, but that was better. We reached second phase and had some heals left. <laughs> that was better. Couldn't use them, but <laughs> you know, progress a little. course twice in a row let's do the attack that uh, um <laughs> this girl 
can't dodge 80% of the, 90% of the time. Twice in a row, why not? And let's open all five. I'm being bitchy again, sorry. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. That was the best we had on stream, and I think it. I also had a test run yesterday that was similar to that in terms of health. Let me just quickly uh, ban this bot. Thank you. Okay. Ah! 
Did you seriously think this would be the end? <laughs> no, th third phase. <laughs> uh huh. Thank you for being so considerate. I embrace pain as my fuel. <laughs> uh, oh, that was one too much, I guess. Are forged in agony. Also, the achievement you get for this fight ha uh, is called No Pain, No Gain. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's literally the name of the game. No Pain, No Gain. <laughs> Shit. Okay, we did that. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, this feels amazing. <sighs> of course, a greater Tao food. Oh boy. <laughs> homing darts. An ancient weapon can be handed with Guafu. This home homing dart uh, was a part of Shikan's special collection. It was once considered an underhanded weapon used only to by treacherous villains. Unfortunately, for some people, reputation is only something for others to worry about. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing else in here. Right, let's get the seal. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so she can't. Oh, she gone? I've. Anyway, what's his what's his story? Like he's the last descendant, or as far as we know, probably last descendant of a great line of people who considered themselves warriors and had a lot of pride in their combat skills and in fighting. So it sounds like potentially someone who had a lot of pressure. Put on them growing up. What we'll see. One day it will be my turn to bring honor to our ancestors. Oh, vandalized or attacked? Oh, let's keep it here. Let's see how much more you can take. Okay, seems more like vandalized. Transmutation. Young master, you are exceeding their experiment to them. Oh, and here we can see how long they've been using humans. I mean, this is obviously an older, a much, much older generation of humans that do resemble apes. Uh, a lot more prominently. Be careful with my precious experimental materials. F 
forged an army of guards. Long live the Qi Kingdom, long may it reign for thousands of generations to come. Seal of Chi Ka. Seal is the greatest symbol of power in the council. Like he the council code. Chi Ka's soul seal containing the character Wu signifies discipline. Oh, oh no. Oh no, not the call. Really? Alright, uh, really quickly, that statue we have in the background looks exactly like the one we just saw in the memory. That got destroyed. Interesting that they can't hold on to it for such a long time. And it does look quite worn. Stone looks like it's breaking in a few parts, like on the cloak and on the one leg. But amazing to see it's still here. Alright. The my lord, have you and she can settled the score? How did it go? Still breathing. You're not usually this concerned. What happened? The the firewall here at the Four Seasons Pavilion had, has intercepted the strange signal. Has your location been exposed? Not yet, but I fear our adversary may be dangerously close. Got it. I'll have back immediately. Take care of Shuan and Shuan. Don't allow anyone in or out. Okay. As you wish, my lord. World map has been updated. With what exactly? Oh, good. We found everything in the prison and the factory machine room. Don't have to go back down, down there. Yes. Okay. Just the pavilion is marked telling me I have to go back there ASAP. Okay, cool. Uh, what did we have here? That room was a puzzle. I mean, I wonder if you can get up there and over here. Looks a little like you can. Huh. So yeah, there's still things unexplored here. Yeah, let's go back to the battle end for now. Oh boy. Also, next two skill points. Mm. Now, question is in should we enhance what's here? Ooh, okay, but that's three points. We can enhance our spells. I mean, full check, full control. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, I'd most likely be using either of these going forward. So it makes the most sense to get this for now. <laughs> Thanks for the luck, Gellif. See you later. Oh! I have like the legend of the porky heroes. Oh my god. Chapters 111 to 120 of the Legend of the Porky Heroes. After receiving the four treasures of the study, Joan Joan's handwriting has improved significantly. He handled the writing and cover illustration all on his own. The story is full of twists and turns, having changed the protagonist twice. Wow. Look how thick it is. I mean, the illustrations on the cover are, like, A++. Absolutely gorgeous. The little bow. It's funny, we have the hat that we had in, and we wore in Peach Blossom Village and then we have the bow. <laughs> and I wonder what that thing up there is. It looks like it can fly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, this looks so thick that I'm surprised it stays in its binding. Like, that stuff looks like it can burst any second. But that is so cool. Oh no, where's Sho and Tron? And where is Kwafu? Where are they? There they are! Okay, oh, I was worried. I was worried they left their pavilion. Uh. What did you bring me out here to do, kid? I don't have time for your monkey tricks. Oh, you're back? Perfect timing. Do you have a minute? It's about this knife you gave me. What? Have you mastered it already? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've gotten the hang of it. Abacus helped me find a lot of information, and we even set up straw targets. Step back and don't move. It's dangerous. Don't reach your heads out. Watch. Uh, hmm. What do you think? How does it look? Well, shaved. You pruned the bush into a... What is it? Guess! Oh, uh, a tree? I don't, I don't see any spe specific shape in this. Squash bug. <laughs> it's definitely an insect. A pattern on the wings looks familiar. Oh. I see it now. It does your, isn't that your mystic nip? Oh! No shit! Yeah! How could you even tell? Hmm. That's right, I've always wanted my own mystic nymph, but I didn't want to bother G about it. So I decided to cut one out. I gave you the blade so that you could learn how to fight and how to perform circus tricks. Huh? Oh, I see. You should have said so. <laughs> All you said was that I was going to learn how to use it. Who looks at a knife and just assumes it's used to stab other people? Hmm, yeah, who does that? I can't. I'm just not good with weapons. Maybe I could use it to plow soil or to shovel dirt. A knife? Mm, there's other tools for that that are way better suited, but cute idea. <laughs> Maybe stick to bush trimming. Mm. One day someone wanted to hurt you. Do you think you can protect yourself? Of course I can. Once they see the beautifully cut flowers and trees, they'll want to ask me how I did it. <laughs> that is such a cute and naive thought. 
<laughs> then they'll find uses for the weapons that are far more interesting than hurting me. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure, honey. That's how I plan to stop them from hurting me. And then we have world peace. Mm. <sighs> I give up. I give it up, my primate friend. You're dealing with what's called an unwavering personality here. Oh. I mean, honestly, I didn't see it at first, but I see it now. It's definitely there. Oh, right, Quaffle. Uh, we did find the blades. These darts. These are the flying darts she can't often uses. But this is what they look like on the inside. I can adjust the design to turn it into an arrow. But still, are you sure you don't mind using the same weapon as him? As long as the user has integrity, the weapon is just a weapon. Unless you think that by using Shikan's weapons will somehow adapt his dis disposition. Mm. To be frank, you don't have a particularly friendly disposition either. Okay, give me some time. I'll get to you. Uh, get to your new areas. Casually bopping to the music. <laughs> Behold, the Shadow Hunter. As the name suggests, this arrow seeks and homes in on your enemies. Oh. Aircraft are based on homing darts. Upon flying, these arrows transform into several dart shaped arrowheads that track the movement of enemies, locking onto their location and shadowing their every move. Interesting. <laughs> you defeat the air to the G Clan? Wow, that must have been tough. Yep, yeah, <laughs> it was. I can't believe he transmitted his body to that degree. How frightening. I thought you said he was pretty stylish. <laughs> no. What I meant was, ah, those two different things. I don't blame you. Yin and Yi have, have always been allies. Allies. The transportation furnaces and weapon systems they used were all crafted by your ancestors. Hmm. Just because we participated in manufacturing doesn't mean we enjoy killing. Most of us Ying feel pretty ashamed about that part of our history. I might have overstated this. All right. Okay, the thing is, uh, I don't know how much dark steel is in this game. If it's enough technically to upgrade all arrows to the maximum. I mean, if not, I think I'd rather upgrade these once more, because that's going to be maximum. And then let's try out the Shadow Hunters and see uh, how they work in combat and if I like them. So far I'm not the biggest fan of the bomb arrows to be honest. I mean maybe I'll change my mind. But yeah, let's have one arrow maxed and then let's see how we're gonna do with our resources. What we have the money and the dark steel for. Hmm, we can talk as well. As ancient weapons, you, your brothers must have been extraordinary. <laughs> oh, the flesh from our bodies was sourced from the ancient toti beasts. With the astonishing costs it took to build us, it was only natural that astonishing achievements followed suit. I have heard that among all the human weapons of the turbulent era, my brother and I were the most deadly. What do you mean, have heard? <laughs> Oh, my intelligence had yet not blossomed back then. With no memory, I could only refer to other data resources. Uh, I'm just thankful that they ended up aborting the Battle Lord project. 
If they're ever forced a weak scholar like me to battle, I would rather die in defiance. Hmm. You can't expect me to follow if you boast about your deadliness and call yourself weak in the same breath. <laughs> yeah. Alright, the gene eradicator. I think I'll recycle that eventually. I'm pretty sure there's no other use for this. And at least it's a lot of gin. <laughs> 